Ukrainian artistic swimmers Marina and Vladislava Alexeva have spent years training for the Paris Olympics in 2024. But their dreams hang in the balance, after the government decided to block its athletes from competing in qualifiers if they include Russians. The International Olympic Committee has recommended Russians and Belarusians be allowed to return to international competition as neutrals. That, since their ban after last year's invasion of Ukraine, which Moscow calls a special military operation. Here's Vladislava. If the IOC allows Russia to take part in the Olympic Games, then these games are not about peace anymore. And what would be the message behind it, even under a neutral flag? They were under the neutral flag on the last Olympic Games, and it didn't change anything. They started a war. The IOC will make a separate decision on Russia's participation at next year's Games, but Ukraine has threatened to boycott the event if they're allowed to compete there. The 21-year-old twins were among thousands who fled the eastern city of Kharkiv last year after Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine. The pair won Olympic bronze in the team competition in Tokyo 2020 and had a successful 2022 in the pool. Russian athletes were allowed to compete as neutrals in Tokyo, after a doping scandal involving revelations of a state-backed system across many sports. Despite the possibility of missing out on Paris, the twins have stuck to their rigorous training in Kiev, but their approach has had to change since the war began. The sports complex in Kharkiv, where they previously trained, was damaged by a missile in September, and they say their training sessions are often interrupted by air raid sirens. You're not as focused during the training as you used to be, Marina says. When we face difficulties during the training, we understand that our warriors have it much harder.